I see Hollywood is now very into the idea of buying something once and then owning it forever, being able to make infinite copies. Which isn't quite the message they imparted upon me in my childhood, in the spirits of their own long-held stance. Can't trust anyone who criticizes the Mamma Mia movie. Like, what the frick are you even criticizing? The plot? The characterization? My brother in Christ, they put Meryl Streep, Colin Firth, and Amanda Seyfield on an island, got them drunk, and asked them to sing ABBA songs in the campiest way possible. This, that, that's literally it. By this point, you have to just assume that you're the problem. Oh, I, I feel so popular. Like five of my mutuals like my post. Wow. What's posted on the internet stays there forever. Is true for everything except for that one piece of fan art you saw when you were 10 that changed the trajectory of your life forever. You will never find that again. It's gone forever. You have to let Denny's parking lot at 3 a.m. go. You have to think independently. You have to come up with your own strange places and indeed your own strange times to be there. There's authenticity in that. I want to art, but my hands are not arting. So now I'm just staring at the sketch, hoping something happens. Spoilers, it's not working. Parky Chow, do you think you get a post to one million likes? There are only like 300 Tumblr users. It's true, 300 users, all with 70 alternative accounts. Frankly, if I'm the odd one in the group, I'd rather be mislabeled than singled out. All right, ladies. Oh, and Dave. Like, don't put me on the spot like that. For the purpose of this exercise, I will answer the ladies. I was explaining my sexuality to my coworkers about how I'm both asexual and into kink culture, and after a minute, my coworker said, Oh, it's like you don't play the FNAF game, but you like the lore. And I haven't recovered. I wish I didn't have lactose intolerance so I could try hot cock without fainting later. Uh, hot cock? Hot cocoa! Hot cocoa! Penis typo. Oh no. I saw a wiggly worm on the pavement and it looked sad, so I said, Oh no, Mr. Worm, you're in a very sorry state. Back into the thicket with you. And I gently put it back into the grass, then I turned around and there was a teenager laughing at me. Why are the youth so cruel? The concept of plagiarism, going from taking someone else's work and passing it as your own, to now being anything that you take inspiration from to make your own thing, is killing creativity. I'll fight people on that. Online plagiarism software flags anything similarly formulated as plagiarism. Like, come on. There isn't 100 ways to give the date of birth and death of someone, for example. This is fucking up teenagers' minds. That's how you get kids calling out artists for stealing poses or color palette. The way these strikes get framed is always so funny to me. The strike could stretch on until the end of summer. Or the executives could pay their workers. There won't be any new shows because of this strike. Or the executives could pay their workers. No more content for us because the mean old writers and actors are- Or the executives could pay their workers! I'm the guy they hit with cars over and over to test for safety. I'm the girl who hits this guy with cars to test for safety. Can you stop?